Hi folks, it's me. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing this card and it's a dimensional card. So obviously this card won't go into an envelope. So today I'm going to show you how to make the card and tomorrow I'll be back showing you how to make the box that goes around it. So that it's quite simple really. It's just a quick and easy box but I'm going to do this today and the box tomorrow. So for starters I've got my card base here <coughs> which is uh, 5 and 3 quarters by 4 and an eighth. It's actually 8 and a quarter scored at 4 and an eighth. So that's that and then you've got your pink layer which is 5 and 5 eighths by 4 inches across to go on there. And then this is um, my white card top and I've used this fabulous um, embossing folder to do this and I've done it off camera because I've got it, it's a struggle <laughs> to do it on camera but you, you know how to um, use embossing folders I'm sure uh, so you don't really need me to show you that and then this is five and a half down by five, uh, three and seven eighths across so first of all before we put <coughs> I'm going to put this this these two pieces together and um, <coughs> if I can find I don't know where oh, it's it here I've had a bit I've been moving stuff out of the way while I've been busy doing other things and I've not got my desk back to normal all I'm doing is just <coughs> running down a bone folder down there where it's been cut because usually it leaves a, a rib um, down the edge on the underside and I want my underside to be my top side and that still wants a bit of a, a flatten down so all you need to do is just run run your bone folder down it that's better so that is going on there it's not leaving as much of a a board around as that one is but it's just how I've cut it so I'm going to put this down first so I'm going to get some glue and oops I did a wiggly line but that wasn't intentional it's just my hand shaking as usual That's it. so I'm going to put this down first um, nice and even if possible <laughs> there we go that's that and as I said the top layer which is what I've embossed and you can use either side really that's the uh, the raised side of it and that's and I like that one the flat side of it I do particularly for this this particular card because there's enough going on in this card uh, raised because I've raised that up a little bit and obviously this is all raised so you don't need too much too much of it so this first of all I need to put some tape on and it's a new one so <coughs> I've got to find my end and it's got, that's it, I see it's got a little bit of tape on holding the end down. Okay, okay. <coughs> Here we go then. So I'm going from corner to corner. Like that. Be careful that you don't put it down too soon. And then <coughs> just flip it over at the corners like so and I'm just going to give that a little bit just if you are if you are using an embossing folder just be careful when you're uh, rubbing over the actual embossing because otherwise you'll uh, flatten it again if you know what I mean so and I can just go gently over that righty ho let me get my I just need a pokey tool from somewhere <coughs> This one will do nicely. Okay. Right, where's my ribbon? 
the veneer and be ready. Now this is, it is a double sided ribbon although I don't know why I thought it was a single sided but it don't matter. It just don't matter. Pull that down like that and try not to pull it. Oops. You've got to try and get, make sure that you get it on that tape and it's not there. That's it. There we go. That's it. Snip bottom right there. So then this bottom bit you can just fold over there. Okay, that's that done. So now we just need to stick this down. And now make sure you get plenty of uh, glue on it around the edges because it is raised a little bit on the underside. It might need a bit more glue just to hold it in place till it dries but the beauty of this particular glue is this is the artist glitter glue is it's very very quick to grab hold which is brilliant it's not a cheap glue particularly but it's it's a very good glue and then ah, I'm just going to layer that nice look but a daisy daisy I'm just making sure that it's nice and stuck well down. Mm. And just keep make it, pressing it down, just making sure <coughs> because it's got that bit of a a rough underneath it just makes it that little bit more awkward to grab hold of so that's that so next thing is the uh, we'll do the tag so we're doing this next now I've already cut my bits out and I don't know where I've put my little thing now mm -hmm. oh it's here right so <coughs> I've just put this one out. It's it's a stamping up, uh, it's a stamping up punch. But I'm going to do the actual stamping. I've got my stamp here already on a <coughs> on a block. Sorry, I, I just got brain fog for a minute there. <laughs> Don't take much. So we're going to be <clears throat> just pop that on there and give it a second and lift does that one look all right not particularly <laughs> i'll turn it around and do it again it should be okay but <clears throat> That looks a little bit better. I know there's not a lot in it, but right. So now I need. <coughs> oh, first of all, I need to put it out. You want to just pop that out, making sure you've got your sentiment fairly leveled up in the middle, straightish. Pop that out. And then I've got these finger dobbers. <coughs> and it's Flirty Flamingo, the colour I'm using. It's a Stampin' Up Ink. I don't know whether they still do this particular one, but it is one of my faves. 
I think it's just a nice so soft pink whereas one or two of the other pinks that I have from Stampin' Up are a little bit stronger but I just wanted a delicate piece for the centrepiece for, for the uh, centrepiece what am I talking about does anybody know <laughs> I sent it on a postcard to me right that's that out of the way let's get that out of the way and we get then our so then we're going to just put the sticky pad on the back and grab that do you know I think I did actually let me what is it out again now I didn't put any extra ink on when I went round the other I just sort of just went round the edges without adding any more ink to it and it, it just defines that edge it's not a deep colour it's not like on there not as much as and because it's going on to pink you don't see you don't notice it as much but yet it's there if you know what I mean that's better yeah I did do that with that one as well so so this one now we're going to put this on here like so that's out the way right so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some gems around this and I'm pinching a few of these pink ones this is these are what I got for doing the teddy oh in fact I'll put them in there it'd be easier to see them these are what I, that came with the teddy bear that I'm actually uh, diamantian <coughs> it's it's over yonder I'll show it here if you wish shortly but I just want to get the uh, crux of this done first so this now we want to put just oops and they're going to be difficult and then I don't want too much glue look very carefully just put little tiny dots mm. I'm not squeezing at all this is just what's coming out on its own without any pressure on the actual thingy bob right where's me where's me where's me it's there Try and get this back on quicker. Because I don't need this anymore now. What's that? So now I need my pick up tool. And I'm just going to pick up little gems and pop them on all the way around. Don't do this as much as there. Yeah. I've moved my stuff around. I'll have to get it moved back because I don't know if I'm coming or going at the minute with this. So, <coughs> I'll pick that one back up. Oops. And pop it on there. I missed one. <laughs> I've just took glue off there now, oh dear me. <coughs> yeah, you can trust me, you can honest, to bodge it. I don't mean to bodge it, but I've just... If I get these on quickly around this corner, where I've took a lot of glue off on my fingers, They'll stick anyway. They will. I just sometimes I, I think it just 
I don't know, it just reminds me of Hollywood, um, theatrical, you know, like the um, makeup mirrors that they have in these theatres and so on. Just having lights all around, just like, oops a daisy. I just thought it'd be nice to have twinkies all around. And last one, and a small one. There we go. That's the last one. So there we've got that now. So I can put these away. I don't want any more for anywhere else. But I'd, I'd rather not. I'm not going to put any, you know, dotted around the card. I don't think you can need it because it's gotten all these around that and then uh, oops. I did want the glue again didn't I <laughs> all right and we're just going to put that on and place it there we go so that's that job Now the next thing is this bouquet. Now <clears throat> I've made this up obviously beforehand because it takes a while. Um, I did actually do a, a video on how to do this a long time ago and uh, when YouTube started changing rules and regulations I deleted 800 videos because I thought there's no way I'm going through 800 videos to just put it from uh, not for children you know it was just too much to expect anybody so I deleted all my videos <laughs> so that one went so if you do want to see me making a little one of these up all it is it's a long gold bead cap, bead cap and then just a few little flowers I will do a video on it but only by request so that's and that's going to go there and uh, I should have had this oh I should have had this warming up before I started shouldn't I but I didn't it won't take it a minute and then I can uh, then I can fix that on there but like I say if if you want to uh, see one of these made up then I will I will do that for you so and also whether you uh, tell me whether you think that would be better there. I put one here on this one at the bottom of the there and I was going to do the same again but then I thought that might look nice on there or do you think it should have one there and there I don't know so I'm going to uh, I'm going to put this one on the bouquet and then I'm going to look in me uh, comment section please leave me a comment I'm going to look in the comment section and see what you've suggested whether I should put another one on or just have the one on there or on here so it's down to you people it's down to my uh, subscribers to tell me what you would like me to do and also if you want me to do a video showing you how this it's not difficult you just really put a few together you've got just make sure you've got some decent uh, floristry tape and uh, just get some little cheapy old flowers off eBay uh, these, a lot of these flowers are from uh, eBay I've had them years <laughs> I haven't bought any for such a long time um, so I can't give you any links to where I've got them from and same thing applies with this uh, this is fantastic I love this I've used it a lot in the past um, this again it's from uh, this is from Aliexpress and it was cheap it was a, I think about a pound uh, and as I say you can use it either way you can either have the uh, the pattern down or you know raised and uh, it was a pound Aliexpress but you'll find it on there just got 
just go and have a look embossing folders and you will find one if you're interested in that one because I actually bought uh, a couple of other ones for friends to gift them because they liked it that much so uh, yeah, I know you can still get it so that's that and are we ready yet let me see oh yes we are we're ready so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the back of the flowers there and a little bit down the the thicker part of the stem of the oh that were lucky don't you think and then just making sure it's not not above the top end of the card and then this whoops a daisy just needs a little squidge of glue and popping on there so there we have it be. <laughs> so there's my just few cards oh, turn it around woman there are the just few cards please uh, let me know in the uh, comments whether you prefer the bow here on the main piece of ribbon or here on the bouquet or if you think it should have one on both or not at all but it's down to you to let me know what you think Thanks for watching. Please feel free to leave comments. I do read them and I do respond. Uh, leave me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video and subscribe if you're not already. It's free and it just helps my channel grow. But if you do subscribe, please leave a comment because otherwise the subscription will be taken down. It's just something YouTube do, unfortunately. So uh, I'm just asking you nicely if you do. Um, and I'm trying to get up to 1500 subscribers I'm 10 away so if I get up to 1500 I will be doing a giveaway thanks all for watching I'll speak to you all again very soon bye bye for now